All right, everybody, today's trip. Um, yeah, early in the spring, trips don't always start out the way that they should. And this is definitely an example of that. Um, went to the lake, and when I got to the lake, the lake is like almost flooded. And so I'm kind of trying to back the boat down into the launching area, which is like a gravel ramp anyway. And the lake level is so high, it's just kind of the road going down into the water. And it's kind of gently going in, not abruptly going in, at least not enough where you can easily get a boat out. And uh, well, all together, I think it took about 40 minutes to get the boat off of the trailer so I could get it in the water. All right, so great start to today's, to today's fishing trip. And... Uh, then I kind of go down the bank, start fishing, go down the bank, and uh, early spring, so what happens? I blow a fuse and uh, can't use the trolling motor. Yeah, that's kind of bad, but it's extremely bad when you're on an electric motor only lake. And uh, so yeah, it's kind of catastrophic then. So what I had to do was tie the boat up. And uh, when I tied the boat up, got out, ran all the way back to the truck and said, hmm, um, maybe I can go to the nearest town and get a fuse. Um, so I did, it's a small town and uh, went to the Dollar General, or not Dollar General, it may have been Family Dollar. And uh, no fuses there, okay, great. Go to the hardware store. Hardware store isn't open. Uh, where else can I go? There was a gas station so i went to one gas station they didn't have any fuses and my only hope was this one little gas station to set on the outskirts of town all right i go to this gas station they look around there's like nothing there at this gas station and lo and behold on the wall is this dusty pack a multi-pack of little glass fuses and i'm like are you serious so we go through, look at the fuses, and they have the fuse that I need. So they sell me this dusty little pack of fuses. And uh, I get them, drive all the way back to the lake, run all the way through the woods, through the briars, jump in the boat, install the fuse, oh, like two and a half hours later. And then I get to fish for a little bit. But hey, when bad things happen, don't go with the bad things. Keep going because uh, check out what happens. Check out what happens because I was persistent in catfishing. All right, St. Joseph, you can have your lake back. You ain't got no love for me. saints that came that was out there with, or me one of them guys who was out there fishing with Jesus who was it uh, Mark Ooh, there we go mm -hmm. there we go oh Lord talking about saints right now oh. all right come on Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, we're talking about saints right now. And, uh, and the disciples who were out on the boat with Jesus catching fish. So that could help us catch some fish. That's a beauty right there. Gosh, I've been going along all day. Uh, com combating a lot of obstacles in order to catch this fish. Finally hit. First hit that I've had all day. But yeah, that's definitely a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. All right. I'll put him back. Thank you, thank you. All right, 
let me talk to you about what's going on here. Early spring, um, when I started out, water temperature was about 49 degrees. It warmed up a little bit today, up to around 60. The water temperature uh, in the spot where I'm at is around 54 degrees. That is something that's very, very important in the spring. It's critical. The uh, most important factor is the water temperature in the spring. And so when you're on the northern lakes like I am here in Ohio and it's in the early spring, you have to pay attention to your depth finder and the temperature. Look for those shallow areas where you have warmer water, but you want to look for something important. You want to look for those shallow areas to be adjacent to deeper water. If you look for those areas and you find them, you'll catch lots of fish in the spring. You'll catch big ones too. I don't know if something hit that or not. I'm setting a hook on everything. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Lesson to everyone at home. Set the hook on everything. <laughs> if it feels like a fish, a that thought goes through your mind uh, the gears start just turning and you go is that a fish you should have already set the hook a lot of times you'll have the smaller guys like that they'll pick up that bait and those are the ones that will make you kind of think about things all right there we go little guy going home put him back in that brush pile all right all right guys, so I didn't catch a ton of fish in today's show. A lot of things happened that kind of slowed me down. Didn't catch a ton of fish. It's not always about catching a ton of fish. Sometimes it's about teaching yourself to persevere when you have adverse conditions and to keep going. And uh, when you do keep going, you don't always immediately get the results that you want. You don't even get them that day sometimes, but you will get them if you're persistent. And I did catch a pretty good one. So uh, thanks for watching today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hey, I'll see you again real soon. Next episode will be out in just a, just a short amount of time. Thanks for watching.